Hi, my name is Bill, and I want to welcome you to Pause. And today's word, I love this word, and it's honor. Honor. You've met honorable people before. We look at war heroes, people serving in the military. I know we appreciate teachers, law enforcement. There's many people that we honor, and that's a great thing to do. But here's what's very interesting. Honor is a two-edged sword. So often we honor children when they're deceptive, when they're failing. We honor them and say, great strikeout, Jimmy, and he has no talent there. We set him up for failure, and we don't realize we give honor. Some of us, I mean, our words are just constantly inaccurate, and the person you're honoring knows, I can't sing, or I can't act, or I'm not an athlete, or I know I'm not a great writer, or whatever. And yet we keep giving honor and honor and honor. Here's what I know. The Bible says to give honor to who honors do. Give honor to who honors do. Friends, there are so many people in our lives that deserve honor. They've taught well. They've performed well. They've spoken well. They've assisted well. It's vital we give a plethora of honor to people who do that. I'm all for that. And yet if our honor's going to have any value, we have to stop honoring either dishonorable behavior or disqualified behavior or, shall I say, behavior that that's just not your talent. It's not your ability. So today, let's just reflect on this and let's pause and let's honor those who are worthy of honor.